Oh, here's another reading here about the uh, lighthouse. During the lighthouse's first 40 years of use, wrecks continued along the northern coast. Ship captains complained that the light was too dim or not lit at all. Some believe the dimming of the light was done intentionally to cause shipwrecks in order to loot cargo on board. In March 1878, Captain Quell of the SS Tybee reported that, on approaching Grand Turk at 2 a.m., he found much white water off the northeast reef, yet saw no light beam. On May 21st, the uh, brig Lydia Coles, bound for New York to Cuba, struck the reef and became a total loss. After the wreckers had salvaged her valuable cargo, Stories such as those were a regular occurrence throughout the 1880s and 1890s when several ships each season were wrecked. Rumors abounded that Turk Islanders were capitalizing the reef in order to employ their quote at the ready end of quote and capable salvage operations for their own profit. In most cases where wrecks occurred there was no loss of life but substantial loss of property. In 1894, the local government applied to the Trinity Imperial Lighthouse Service at Nassau to provide annual maintenance and inspection. The frequency of wrecks was subsequently reduced, but the treacherous North East Reef has nevertheless continued to claim shipwrecks. Grand Turk Historic Lighthouse. Over and out.